Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Maisha and I like to talk about life and mental health and stuff. Today, I'm giving you guys a tour of my A-level graphic design sketchbooks. I got an A-star, so I'd like to think that my work is pretty decent. <laughs> However, looking back at them now really makes me cringe. These are three years old. I finished my A-levels in 2017 and um, my style has changed a lot. <laughs> looking at these now is cringe-worthy, vomit-inducing more like, but hey, I got a good grade in it, so, you know, I think it would be nice to look through them, talk about what I liked, talk about what I didn't, any advice I might give to people who are doing A-level graphic design. So yeah, let's get into it. The first project I'll be showing you guys was my first project in year 12. Um, it was, we had to make postage stamps for the Chinese New Year, and that year was the year of the monkey. We had to do them like in the style of children's illustrators. You will notice that I really love use like I really enjoy making stuff on paper. Like I don't enjoy just doing things digitally. I enjoy painting and drawing and things like that. And that's one thing that got me a lot of marks. My teacher always said that one thing that he really liked about my work was that I used a lot of mixed media. Oh god, my throat. It hit like 33 degrees today and my brain isn't working properly. Okay, so anyways, my teacher always said that he really liked that I used a lot of mixed media in my work. I also really hated this project, even while I was doing it, but looking back on it now, oh my god, I'm cringing so freaking badly. One thing that I would change, and this is like consistent throughout my, all of my sketchbooks, is why did I do it landscape? Somebody please tell me, why on earth did I do all of this landscape? Like, it's actually jarring to look at. I would do a lot more of it by hand, as in like the actual pages, instead of printing like making them on photoshop i just think it looks a lot nicer when you like cut and paste little bits and like collage and whatever you know i think i did that at first but i didn't like how they turned out yeah i don't like how digital all of my pages are i think i would have liked having them a lot more like messy rather than being so neat anyways these are my final pieces um we had to make four of them and i showed all of my developments and stuff like that is probably i mean i was proud of it because I did get some nice pieces out of it, but I also hate it at the same time. I also did like these little paintings for one of them. Like my final piece for um, the Quinton Blake style stamps, um, I painted them and then I edited them slightly on Photoshop so that they pop a little bit more. And that probably is my favorite. I loved the drawings that I did for those. That is that project done. Our second project was to do with typography. We had to make a poster for a musician using typography and I chose Rihanna uh, simply because I don't know I just feel like doing something for her would be so much fun this is all my research about like different illustrators I really enjoyed the research that I did for this one again I hate that everything is in landscape it's driving me insane why did I do that some of the work that I did in here I basically put it in for the sake of it because it was like I just wanted to show that I did a lot of research I don't like some of the initial ideas and stuff that I had in here but I put them in just so that I could kind of fill my sketchbook up. Okay, so Vladimir Konkar's work was pretty fun, but it was such a nightmare trying to Photoshop all of these. Oh my God. After I took all my pictures and Photoshopped everything, I realized I had letters missing. I was just so embarrassed, but I turned it into a pretty cool piece. If I find it, I'll put it in. I'm pretty sure that's hanging in my school somewhere. So success. Oh my gosh, I hate this page. I really do. I can't begin to tell you how much I hate this page, but it is what it is. And, you know, the more research you show that you have, I guess the better. And like, you'll see a lot of development in your work. Anyways, this is an example of one of those pages that I literally just put in for the sake of putting in. I liked this guy's work. It was pretty cool. Um, I hate the font that I used because, wow. But anyways, um, as you can see, I like I put in a lot of inserts, like... I would stick pages down and then I realised that there's more stuff that I want to say or there's more pieces that I want to put in so I'd literally just tie pages in and I'm pretty sure a lot of people do that, it's just a smart way of going about adding extra work into your sketchbook rather than having to mess the whole thing up again. Um, so this was the style that I ended up using for my final piece and I went through a lot, like I went through a lot of edits with my final piece, I changed my mind quite a few times uh, but I ended up being so 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 proud of what I ended up creating in the end. It's probably one of my favourite pieces ever. It's my dad's favourite piece. Like, my dad loves my final piece from this project. 
anyways this is more experimenting blah 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 um looking at different artists work and trying it for myself <laughs> I also really liked this. As you can see, I managed to improve the whole smoke explosion thing um, a lot from the start. Um, so I really liked these. I considered using this for my final piece, but I decided it just wasn't, it didn't stand out enough. It wasn't bold enough. Like I didn't think there was anything super special about it. So I changed my mind. Again, this is one of those really boring ones that I literally just put in for the sake of for the sake of it looking like I had a lot of initial ideas, but like you can't even see anything through them. Okay, so here we get to my final piece and my development of final piece. Um, I remember I made this and I was like, okay, yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, and I was quite proud of it and I liked how it turned out. And then I thought, I can do better than this. Like, I don't know, there was just something too basic about it for me, so I was like, I know that I can do better than this. I kept on looking at it and thinking, you know, this isn't, I'm not 100% keen on this. So you know what, if I can make a change, I'll make a change, I'll do something different. And do something different I did. Oh my God, I cannot tell you how many hours I put into this. I tried to put in as much detail as I could with like all the text and stuff that I added in. Um, and honestly, the final result, I'm so proud of it. I love it. My graphics teacher was asked by our head teacher for like the best piece of work within his like A-level students and he picked me and I was so proud of myself. It was for a postcard that was going to be sent home to people like whenever they did well at school. I imagine it must have been really random for people to receive Rihanna in the post um, from my school but you know it was pretty cool. I have a postcard somewhere but anyways super super proud of this final piece. I really loved it. This was a cool project. I really enjoyed it. For exam projects we obviously had like a whole load of different things to choose from i decided to do packaging for italian biscuits and so this is like my research and different styles of work that i liked and that you know so yeah i think this is my favorite project simply because i found the style of work that i enjoy doing the most since i was younger i've always just really enjoyed drawing patterns like i love the look of mendy or henna um, I just love how intricate it is, how beautiful it is, how no matter what pattern you do, it will look amazing. And so I used to draw a lot of like Mendy style patterns and that's kind of stuck in my work a lot. And so I really enjoyed doing like intricate patterns and flowers and things like that. It was really, really fun for me throughout this project. Um, and I guess that's really crossed over into the work that I enjoy doing the most now. And I love watercolor. If you couldn't tell already, I just love watercolor so much. Watercolor is the love of my life. <laughs> Um, so here I did a drawing, I scanned it in, printed it out, and then I did like, I added like a border to it. So I was really scared of ruining the original painting. <laughs> um, and this is when I started doing digital drawings. I bought myself a really cheap little drawing tablet for like £20 and it was so small, like so freaking tiny. Um, but it was really fun, like I really enjoyed learning how to do like digital portraits and stuff like that. And I utilised those in my final pieces. <laughs> I also really enjoyed doing like really detailed flowers, like not super detailed, but detailed flowers, as you can see here. I enjoyed like sticking stuff down and adding texture and stuff to my sketchbook. Like here you can see I had a little envelope and I cut out loads of little initial logo designs, like color schemes and layouts and things like that. And I just shoved them all into my little envelope. And then when you pull them out, you can see all the different color schemes and layouts I had in mind. And yeah, I quite liked this. I really liked this actually. Why am I lying? <laughs> Why am I downplaying it? So yeah. And then there's like my logo ideas. But I had a very like me method methodological meth methodolic Oh god, help me. <laughs> I don't know the word. Methodological let you know what, let me just Google it. It is methodological. It just sounds like it's way too long a word to be using. Anyway, I have a very methodological approach to these things. Like I like to make sure that everything is in like proper chronological order. You can see exactly where my thought process was going. Um, 
and now when it comes to like my uni sketchbooks they're a bit all over the place like at first I used to leave gaps for like where I'd want to put stuff but I've learned not to do that anymore because it's more interesting for me to see where my thoughts were um, I think it's just interesting to see why my mind goes in all of those places rather than thinking I have to have it in chronological order if you think about it that is chronological order because that's how it went in my brain chronologically I'm waffling again I'm so sorry all I do is waffle <laughs> I'm so sorry but yeah I don't know I've learned to be a bit more free I just kind of go with the flow now a lot more there's less of this like sticking down pages that I did on photoshop and then just leaving like no texture or anything like that in it this time I just really enjoyed sticking loads of little things down like um screenshots and putting like how do you pronounce this by the way like washi tape washi tape I don't know but you know like the pretty decorative tape and handwriting my notes and things like that I love annotating I really enjoy annotating my uni sketchbooks a lot of my work is just written like I just write a million and one notes for the sake of it and I think this is like the essay writer in me I'm I've realized that I'm not really talking a lot directly about my work it's basically just like my experience with the graphic design and how I feel about it oh also okay very random but like there's this thing i found out it's called it's called a fantasy art right and it's where you can't see images in your head and i i have it i can't see images in my head and i now i'm wondering to myself like how am i able to be creative if i can't see images in my head like i can't actually physically imagine things properly like when i say i can imagine something i'm probably lying because i can't i can't see it in my head so i actually realized it's hard for me to come up with a lot of ideas simply because i can't picture them in my brain in my puny little brain i actually have to put things together physically for me to actually be able to think oh okay that's what i'm wanting or oh that's not exactly how it turned out so when people tell me how they want things i have to ask them for like inspiration or things that they like that obviously i can come up with my own thing afterwards i'm not plagiarizing people i promise you but you know um it's hard for me to literally just come up with an idea on the spot i have to put things together so that my eyes my eyeballs can see them and then I can come up with them properly anyways that's enough of my waffle for today I hope you enjoyed my video I hope you didn't you enjoyed my little sketchbook tour a lot of it was just me talking for the sake of talking but I think I'm fun to listen to I hope I hope you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up subscribe I feel like I'm going through a bit of a rough time with coming up with content and stuff at the moment just because I don't know, there's just not a lot going on in my life with lockdown and all that. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. I have all my social media linked in the description. Please don't forget that the Black Lives Matter movement is not just a trend, it's still going on and it's something that we should still be paying attention to. I've left the card link in my description as well. And also, there is a massive, massive famine going on in Yemen. I will be leaving some more details below. Also, my brother-in-law and his friends have organised a little cycle for charity around London. The funds that they're raising are going towards Yemen. So please, please, please contribute what you can, only if you're able to. And if you're interested in joining that bike ride, it's happening on the 12th of July. I will leave sign-up links below, I'll leave their Instagram page below. So definitely, definitely, definitely get involved if you can. I have ignored a whole sketchbook from year 13. And that is because it is embarrassing to look at. Like. I can't even look at it myself without just feeling so embarrassed about the, fact, the work that I made in there. But if anybody really, really wants to see it, maybe I'll go through it on my Instagram one day. So, you know, follow me on Instagram if you want to see that sketchbook, which I'm so embarrassed about. So yeah, again, thank you for watching. Hope you're having a great day, night, evening, whatever time you're watching at. Take care of yourself, take care of those around you, and I'll see you next time. Peace out. Oh my God, my arm just clicked. Thank you.